right, so this is the non-surgical mask. So, whoop, gotta turn it on. So it's basically just a paper mask. Let's see a little bit. All right, so this one's a little better. Heart rate's a little bit up, but this one's a little bit better. We're at 98 oxygen saturation, 73 with the, um, and now you can see it's going down, 64. And I'm actually at 99. Um, I do feel a lot of air in this mask, I'm not gonna lie. Um, as you can see, I got holes. Like I said, so I do feel a lot of um, air in this mask. Um, so basically, I think whenever I breathe in, I get my oxygen. When I breathe out and then breathe in a little bit, I get some carbon dioxide in it. But otherwise, um, this one's not too bad. So if you have to wear something for a long period of time, I don't think it's going to save you from COVID. Because um, like I said, it's uh, going in the sides pretty good. But uh, yeah, so if you don't like the cloth one, this one seems to be the, the next best one um, for keeping you oxygenated. So put that one over here. All right, so again, I got to wait two minutes. It's going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to see a patient. Um, so it'll be a little longer than that. But I'm going to do another mask. Um, my idea is, is now my oxygen number should start to go down because um, these masks are getting a little more heavy duty um, is my thought process. So we will find out. Again, I'm only wearing them for seven minutes. Um, I don't know quite what they'd be like if you wore them for eight hours. But like I said, so far the little paper one uh, seems to be the easiest to breathe in. I did feel a lot of air flow coming in this way. So there is that for that one. All right.